you've been told to create a LinkedIn banner. And then you said, okay, I can do that. You, now you're wondering, where do I even do that? How do I do that? So the next instruction is go to Canva and do that. And then you sit behind Canva and you think to yourself, what in blazes have I let myself in for? Let me show you how to create a banner for LinkedIn in Canva. Whether you're on Canva free or on Canva pro, it doesn't matter at all. Does your LinkedIn banner look like this? Or do you have some arbitrary photograph that you stuck in there because you've been told that this is not a good LinkedIn banner to have? So here we are on Canva's home screen, and this is where we land up when we open Canva, for the first time even, for some of you. The first thing we do is we want to create the LinkedIn banner. So where we're going is create a design, top right-hand corner, click on that. And here in the search area, you're going to enter LinkedIn. And it's going to give you all things LinkedIn. So what we're looking for is LinkedIn background photo. So a banner and a background photo, exactly the same thing. The size that we're going to do is 1584 by 396 pixels. And if you're going to um, circumvent the search over here, what you can do is cl click on create a design and then down at the bottom here, custom size. Custom size is where you're going to enter 1584 by 396. And then you're going to cl click create a new design and it will open in a new tab for you at the end where all your tabs end. And there it is, a blank canvas for us to start playing around with. So now at this stage, you are more than welcome to grab a LinkedIn, uh, a LinkedIn banner template from the design folder or the design tab that is offered for us here. Now these have all are all optimized for the design size that we have open here, 1584 by 396. And if you're uncertain what to do, I would always suggest start with a template and then you can go and personalize it for yourself. So let's just go and take this one here. So, and then there are quite a number of them in the same sort of look and feel for want of a better term. Let's just hide that. So here we are. This is what our template looks like. This is where we're going to start off. Perhaps you want to have this, um, the background image. Um, this seems to be just a, a blank space that was between two photographs. Two photographs can be one photograph. Let me show you how to do that. Take your photograph and simply just size it up. And there you go. You've taken what was a, let's just go back to the template itself. You've taken what was on a template and you made it something completely different. From here now, what you can do is you can Diffuse this to not make it so in your face by changing the transparency down to something like that. Or put a rectangle over like this and see how it picks up the color that's already in here. And now you can simply go and change the color to your brand color and change the transparency down ever so slightly. The effect is exactly the same, but it gives you a little bit more to, to play with. And now what you can do is you can go and insert your text. Let's just use that text over there and go and position that where you want it to be.
Now, if you want to, you can insert a photograph of yourself on the banner itself as well. No, there's no hard and fast that you shouldn't. There's no hard and fast where you should be um, positioning your text either. What I am going to advise you on is your photograph on your phone sits over there. Your photograph, let's just duplicate that, on a tablet sits probably over there. Or when you view, view your, um, your profile on another device your photograph will sit over here. So you could have your information sitting on the side. You can have your information sitting on the inside over here as well. But be aware that your photograph may obscure it. What I also do want to share with you is if you're going to be positioning your information here, your photograph will most certainly obscure details here. I am not about to tell you where your, you should place any of your information or what you should place on your design. Because that's a personal choice. Let me show you what my LinkedIn banner looks like at this point in time. So that's what mine looks like. So if we were to take these two and apply them to my profile here, on the, on the computer view, it's safe. On the mobile and the tablet view, this is not safe. So weigh it up for yourself. Do you, don't you, are you going to have it squished in that little corner over there or squished into that little corner over there? It's entirely up to you. I am not going to be prescriptive on how you should have your design made. Go and have a good time designing your, your banner. When it comes to downloading your banner, I will always suggest that you download PNG in PNG format as is suggested. The reason for that is Canvas uh, graphics may sometimes, when downloaded with JPEG, end up being a little bit fuzzy and almost like it wants to be out of focus. Now you can circumvent that by increasing the size here as well as increasing the quality. This makes the file size larger for a JPEG. Will it stop it being fuzzy? It could. It very well could. And then all that's left to do is go and download it. Once you've downloaded the, the graphic that I have here, it will show up in your file explorer. So now that we have our LinkedIn profile open in front of us, we are looking at this horrible piece of empty real estate. We're going to click on the little camera icon at the top right hand corner, and we're going to click edit profile background. And now we're going to go and find the image that we want to insert there. And we're just simply going to double click on it. And there it is. 100% fitted. No need to do anything. The zoom function at the bottom here allows you to zoom in. I wouldn't advise that, especially since we created it for the um, size that is required. All you need to do now is click on apply and LinkedIn has a think about it and it has, and there it is. There's your photograph, your LinkedIn cover photo. And while you are here, please don't forget to ring the bell 
and hit that subscribe button so that you're notified every time I upload a new video.